Hey, come here. I gotta tell you something, I wanna show you something. And I believe this is the knife drawer. This isn't my house. <laughs> People say, what's the best thing? Okay, something that you must have in your uh, kitchen knife drawer. And that would be that one right there. I was gonna say, is there any others? <laughs> All right, this is called the long handle. All right, and it's a really good knife sharpener. It's just got the open face uh, straight line carbide and it's got the V-notch. The V-notch can be used if you're gonna reshape a blade completely. Let's say you inherited grandma's old knife. It's completely flat on the blade. It won't cut anything. So to get it back to a cutting edge quicker, you just run it through here, put it on a table, run it through there, hard enough to make a little bit of shavings on the uh, you know the table whatever so you can see it or you know not not too rough though and then I use the uh, open uh, face the straight line carbide right there and uh, you know then just tune them up tune them up tune them up come back this way out that way out uh, back this way um, just as well uh, we'll do this one okay so we would just take it uh, let's set it over here all right and we would actually just run it through like this. Don't press too awful hard. Oops, that is serrated. I didn't see that. From the, <laughs> well, look from this side. Okay, it looks like a regular knife. But you look at it from this side. Nope, it's not a regular knife at all. So with that one, I would actually run it down uh, on the same bevel on the back, like that, like this, and then light and easy like that, and come out here like this. And let it bump just like that do the same thing on this side kind of gentle and believe it or not you can actually make an old knife like that really good and sharp wow that thing bites uh, so let's see i don't know can we use the corners of, of this one right here i know if it'll tear it'll cut okay that's got some really serious little serrages in it so that's how we would do that, actually. I mean, as far as, like, cutting meat and, and vegetables and stuff like that, that thing bites. So it's plenty sharp. All right. And let's see. Oh, serrated. And... Not serrated. Okay, so let's see along the edge here. Okay, that's not too bad, but you do have to kind of slice at it a little bit. So on this one, I'm just going to use the open face straight line. So we'll hold still. There's a straight line right there. There's a straight line right there. When I say keep it on the corner, I mean the corner here. I don't mean down in the corner of the plastic. Don't do that. Okay, so it would be on there like this. Not out here like that, not back there like that, right there in the middle. Okay, we we'll tip it up like this, so you can see it's on the corner of the carbide. Not flat, on the corner. Don't lay it clear over until you're ripping the plastic off. You know, like that, don't do that. Just like this. I think some people think that the bevel here is determined by how far you lay this down. It's obviously not. It's how far you raise this up or lay it down like this. So right there would probably be matching. So we tip it up to where it's comfortable and begin sliding it along like this. You turn it over, you can come back this way. You can go out that way. I roll it, now if you look right straight in, I actually roll it, I, I come this way, and out that way, back this way, out that way. I can lay it down, and I let up on it a tiny bit when I go forwards, press down on it a tiny bit when I come back towards my hand, like that, like this. I can see this knife actually has little flat spots on the cutting edge, so I'm gonna put a little more pressure on it. Now I'm gonna tune it up a little bit light polish the wire edge off the blade if we've gotten to a wire edge which I think we did we're going to do about 25 30 passes like this kind of gentle okay that's looking better so let's go back to the Denver magazine that's what we always use and uh, tear a page out of it tear it off there 
Yes, it is our old faithful Denver magazine. <laughs> All right, may not mean something to you know to. Oh my goodness, that changed tremendously. Let's do it one more time, just a little bit. I, I don't lie to my people. I don't use this magazine, use that magazine, and I tell you I'm using you know the Denver magazine, things like that. I will at times use other pieces of paper, but uh, you can see it's other pieces of paper, and then I take it out of the Denver magazine. And uh, I do that mainly so that you can see I'm comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges, never apples to raisins or something like that, you know. And uh, so it's kind of gentle, and you want to... You're going to want to turn it a little bit this way, a little bit that way. You want it on the on the corner, okay, like that, at a bevel about, okay, right there is where, right there is actually, that's kind of steep, but that's where I can't see under the, uh, the sharpener, so I, I've matched it. If I tip it up like that, I can see under it. If I come back here, I can see under it. Right there, I can't see under it, okay? So then we just do this. Match the bevel that's on the blade, no matter what you're sharpening. Just like that. If you want to, you can set it down. Work on it like that. Come back this way, out that way. Okay, now I'm going to polish the blade a little bit more. Just like that. Take the wire edge off the blade. Fine tune it a little bit. Get lighter and lighter and lighter with the touch. Alright, now let's see. That feels pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. And that is the long handle, SharpensBest.com. Okay, and on the other side, I believe in my product, especially, I, I'm the only, the website and me, okay, I'm the only one that sells them. Uh, the website and myself that actually says Brad Buckner and my phone number, which is 425-444-7505. Don't try to hide it. I don't try to hide it from my people. If I sell you something, you should be able to talk to me. I'm the guy that sold it to you. So anyways, Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. This is the long handle. That's how it works. You take care, and we'll catch you later.